Hey guys, uh, Tech Reviews videos here. Uh, I thought I'd show you how you can modify your Windows Mobile device. So I have the I have a Samsung Omnia. It's a it's a nice phone, uh, but as you know, uh, Windows Mobile isn't the sharpest or more or more organized interface to, or easy to use. So last video I showed you the SPP Mobile shell. This time I'm going to show you Throttle Launcher. I'll post a link in the uh, information for this video so you guys can download it if you want. It's uh, ThrottleLauncher.com But I don't have it on my phone right now. So I'm going to show you step by step how you can download it. Alright, first of all, you're going to have to have your phone connected to your PC. And of course, you're going to need the internet. So I'm going to show you what to do. First, go to throttlelauncher.com uh, I'll put it in the info in case you know how to spell it and just wait and there it is so you go to download wait again alright now it's gonna, bring, it's gonna bring you a page with the pro products that they have now all these products here are really really good. I've used all of them and I like them a lot. Right now I'm just going to show you thr throttle launcher. Sorry about that. You click on a th throttle launcher image, click on it. It's going to bring you up to another page, and there it is, throttle launcher. <laughs> all right. So uh, the previous versions are here in the bottom, right there, and. This is the one you should probably download it. And if you want to see the newest one, which uh, needs an open GLS uh, something, and you need something with an accelerated device, uh, it doesn't work on my Omnia. So what I do, I just download this one right here. This one. Because that one works on the Omnia. So that's the one we're going to download. But the downloading process is the same for anyone, so it doesn't matter what you get. And you're going to look. Uh, down, go down until you find the link for the download, and there it is. It's right there, the first one, this one right here, the one that says Throttle Launcher 1.0.1. .1. Click on that, and we just wait again. And it's just free. That's what's really good about it, because it's a really good uh, interface for it being free. Then you agree to all the terms and conditions and then you download it. Now, there it is. It's downloading right now. It's gonna, it says it's going to take like a minute or two. Okay. So we'll just wait. Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to, how to connect your device and everything. But in case you don't know, while we wait, I'll show you how to do it. You just connect it with a USB. You go to your computer. Right there, where it says computer. I'm using Windows Vista. And you just scroll down on portable devices that should be there. Click on it. And it's gonna bring you two options. It's gonna device, storage card, which is the memory card, or my storage. I uh like to do it on storage card, but it, people say it's better on if you could do it on the phone. So if you want to do that, that's fine, but what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put it on my storage card. So you click on that, and just uh, leave it open there. And we just keep on waiting. It says one more minute, okay. I'm sorry about the quality, it's not the best because I'm using a camera, I'm not using a video recorder. That's where the quality so, so and so. says 40, 40 seconds left meanwhile I guess I can show you the Omnia the Samsung Omnia it's a good phone but once you get used to the Windows Mobile you know it's it's not the best it's kinda hard to use so that's why most people decide to uh, put something on top of the window, such as SPV Mobile Shell or th Throttle Launcher. Alright, I think it's finished. 
Now what you do is you don't open it because if you open it, it's a cap file. Now cap files install themselves. So you don't want to do that. If right now I'm using Google Chrome, so what you do is you just show it in the folder. Open it in the folder or whatever. In Firefox I forgot what it's called, but just don't open it. There should be another option so you can look at it from its destination. I don't know. And let me see where it is. There it is. Uh, that's it right there so you open up your folder for your mobile device your Windows mobile and you just click and drag the Thor launcher cat file right in there and you wait for it to download it should take like two seconds okay and now that it's finished you go into your phone you go to file explorer and since I put it in my my memory storage card, that's where I'm gonna go. My storage card, and it should be here, right there. There it is, throttle launcher. All right, click on it, and it says installing throttle launcher 1.0. Okay. <laughs> All right, so storage card. There we go. Install. All right, shouldn't take that long. It's probably gonna take a, a minute. So that that's how you do it, really. That's how you put the thr throttle launcher in there. Okay. Simple. It's easy. Uh, once the download is complete, I'll show you how it looks. In the next video, I don't want to make this video too long. I think it's like six minutes already. Didn't want it to be that long, but eh, I guess it was all the downloading time that it took, huh? But uh, I'll just show you how it looks really quick. And in the next video, I'll show you how to put widgets and themes on it so you can customize it. It's not that hard after you know how to do it. Alright, it's almost done. There we go. Successfully, okay. Click OK. Alright. Now you're gonna go to programs and it should be right there. And there it is. It's the orange icons you see there. One says throttle, throttle configuration, I believe, and the other is throttle launcher. So just click on the one that says throttle launcher. The other one is for uh, settings. Like to add widgets, which I'll show you in my next video. But for now, I'm just going to show you how it looks. There you go. Right, right now, it's just a black, black screen. Doesn't have anything. Uh, you can add things that it already comes uh, preloaded with, such as the clock. You just click on the icon up here. and manage widgets and kind of come with a lot of them and as you can see this is really finger friendly even for the Omnia which is an older device you don't have to oops <laughs> almost dropped it you don't have to use their little scroll thing you can just use your fingers really quick I'll show you the thing that it comes with like the digi digital clock dash clock and things like that Yep, okay. Click OK. And they should come. There we go. Okay. Okay, so what you do is you unlock the widgets so you can move them around. You can put this over here. And the clock in the next page. That's how you put new pages. You just add widgets to them. And you can go back. And there's a clock. You can change the wallpaper, things like that. I'll show you how you can put new themes and widgets such as the hero clock which make it look really cool kind of like an Android or HTC device I'll show you how to do that in my next video because this, this video is kind of taking too long if you have any questions or requests feel free to ask and that's all for now thanks for watching